Hi, welcome to Draw Plans. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a very special bit of uh, 3D modeling uh, software. It's called uh, Tinkercad and it's been around since 2011. But it's become a really popular platform for creating models for 3D printing as well as a, an entry level introduction to the world of solid geometry in schools, etc. So I want us to download uh, and basically do a walkthrough through the software. So um, let's just see what happens here. Now I've had a look around and uh, it really is fantastic. I, I, so I thought I, I really want to share it. So let's see if you share my uh, uh, share the same views. So I've basically you have to create an account and uh, very simple, add a few details and um, get on board, as they say. Uh, it's a free web app and it's all about 3D design, uh, electronics and coding. Uh, and of course, it's created by Autodesk and world, world's renowned uh, CAD software developer. Uh, if nothing else. Right, so uh, managed to get an account going, um, get a few details in, we'd soon be in there. So it doesn't take long, a couple of minutes, um, uh, you mess around with your emails, create a password and so on. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's again, pr pretty easy. Uh, don't worry about me, I mean, <laughs> I can mess up anything, but um, yeah, it's generally pretty easy to get to get on board. So let's see what we're doing here. So I'm going to add uh, an email, an account. So yeah, I did it wrong. So basically, you need to use your account with Autodesk, and uh, that's what I did uh, to get me in. Right, uh, again. Uh, Love the colors, lo love the scheme, and we're going to start with lesson one. Um, so I'm going to shut up for a minute and just uh, basically uh, get on with it. Um, that's assuming I can. So it's it's very very easy to follow. So at the moment now, they're talking about placing. So we're looking at uh, placing an object on an object. Um, and the instruction, say, on the left. Tools are on the right. Instruction is on the left. So if you just follow me, I'm going to take a roof, or what looks like a roof, put it on the, on the block. Um, Right, so you've got lots of little uh, nodes on the uh, new bit of roof, so clearly you can edit, as in move it around a bit, um, stretch it, and so on. So uh, let's do that. Let's see what happens. Um, right, so this one, yeah, goes to the right. Uh, all of the nodes will have a bit of, uh, that's better, I'm using my mouse wheel to scroll in. I'm now using the nodes to uh, stretch it out to the corner. Quite lovely. Um, now, that is pretty easy. So, I'm attempting to lift uh, or to stretch the roof. And what I did was I just lifted up the roof. Uh, I've since found out that um, that's not how you do it, but I'm aware that slides. So again, so what we want is in fact a little uh, triangle to stretch the roof up, to change the pitch or the degree. Uh, and the lessons are absolutely lovely. Now if we want to put a little note add a little note to what we've done um, you do so so uh, add a little note to my roof and um, 
it then closes it if i remember correctly that's it and then you just put that where you need it so on whatever component parts you add you can add little notes to it so that um, it'll help you keep track of what you're doing or anybody else that sees your work all right so over to the menu on the left and we click next and wow lesson finished did it great work yeah so i, I love this and um, i mean generally uh, even as i'm doing it um I, I was thinking about my kids and how i want them to have a look at it and uh then i was thinking basically that if uh, my subscribers have kids and uh, so on then they should be uh looking to well they should be looking that if their kids are so inclined uh let them have a look at this because it's very interactive and it's very it's very very beautiful to do but it opens doors into a world of 3d design and if they're interested in that or modeling making stuff hobbies you know a hobbyist and so on then uh, why not uh, introduce so now we're looking uh, we're doing another lesson and we're going for view it and this is basically about uh, how we view as in you know stretch it turn it and, uh, so yeah so again we're focused on the nodes that's not the aim of the lesson i'm afraid the aim of the lesson is to actually um you, you know the 3d element looking at it from all sides it's not about stretching it so uh, i messed up on this one but um you'll see shortly it's a, it's about looking at it from the back and the side and the bottom just like the cube rep is represented on the left within the uh, learning so uh, now we're cooking we're getting uh, basically getting to the access cube so the access cube is works similar towards other programs like fusion um, Fusion 360, for example, uh, SketchUp and so on, they generally have access cubes for rotating uh, whatever it is you're working on and looking at it from different angles. So uh, this is this is a lesson. It's a short lesson, but again, you see, um, it's an important one. You learn how to look at uh, whatever it is you're working on in different ways. Okay, change the color, etc., etc. Okay, I think um, we've kind of come to the end of this lesson. Um, we understand what it's all about. And if again, if I had kids doing this right now, I think this would be a pretty straightforward lesson. They'd enjoy that, and they'd come back to it very, very easily. Um, so yeah, lovely. Er, Yeah, you got a little uh, menu on the left hand side there of your model space right let's see what happens and we move on this is about scrolling in so between the uh, using the uh, axis cube and then scrolling in again uh, these are uh, ways of being able to you know bring it up and uh, see what you're doing and then rotate it and twist it lovely i love the software the simplicity is beautiful um, and it's part of the reason i wanted to share it so there you go that's another lesson uh, so that's effectively if you if you pick up on any program and uh, you bite it off in little chunks like this anybody can learn it my i have a six-year-old daughter that is very keen on uh, working with me on various bits of software I use and uh, I've got her using paint and a few programs like that and she absolutely loves it and her biggest problem is that uh, she's not good at spelling just yet but so I help her to spell and uh, we get stuff done so this one now first off you're looking yeah you're trying to bring this one looked pretty easy to me, uh, so uh, I think I, I got the hang of it quite quickly. 
there you go and once you kind of work it out and if you've never done 3d modeling i mean this is a lovely uh, lovely way of introducing the tools to you so uh, there you go and just pluck the right one now i've getting the hang of it i can see i'm i'm racing through it and um, once we learn how to expand i think the next step is what uh, bring it up i think yeah and just raise it because we need to raise it to be able to increase the height and uh, that's what this is so that would be the uh, triangular icon i uh, haven't quite worked it out there you go well done see um, I had a quick walk through this this morning and uh, I just loved it I felt oh I've got to do a video on this I've got to share it uh, I've, I came across it when I was looking at um, Autodesk products and uh, I thought yeah that's my kids for sure and hopefully for yours uh, of course you may well like it for yourself um, and use it but um, there we go so now we've done another lesson so as you can see it's easy to follow it's uh, broken down I think you can you can learn anything like this um, so if we look at the learning center then uh, there's loads going on here gallery these are the kind of uh, things that people do. So it gives you a feel for what the software can do um, just by looking at the gallery. If we look at projects, some of these are amazing. Uh, I, I like the one here on the right, and that's the you know, superhero costume. Yeah, I mean, what's not to like? Uh, classrooms, accelerate learning with Tinkercad classroom so you can actually uh, do it online um, join a class online so which what a wonderful idea um, your kids can sit in front of a computer and learn how to do 3d modeling 3d design electrics a bit of coding all thanks to Autodesk and Tinkercad so um, right I, I guess that's about it uh, okay I've given you an intro um, you've basically uh, been made aware that it exists so now I suggest you uh, crack on and uh, you know enroll or get your kids looking at it and get your kids working on it thanks very much for watching see you in the next video